Hey everyone, well, welcome to Helen Wasco Yoga on YouTube. I hope you are well. So in this session today, we're going to explore sun salutations using the wall. And this is kind of part of a little ongoing inquiry of practices that I'm um, offering that enables us to explore the sun salutation series, which is a an energizing kind of uplifting series of um, movements and postures that are quite common to the yoga practice as we might know it. Um, and it's really useful to see or experience other ways that we might be able to do those practices for ourselves. And a wall is a great way for us to explore how we can have um, a sense of support in our movement. Um, there are some really useful ways that we can think about pushing and pulling and kind of getting traction in our body. Um, and then also, potentially if we're experiencing issues with our balance, um, you know, kind of coming down into forward folds or taking ourselves down to the ground and back up again, sometimes could um, relate to us feeling a little dizzy, then in this sense, using a wall is really useful because we're keeping our head pretty much above the heart the whole time. Okay, so yeah, I don't think there really is anything that you need to have in preparation for this practice other than just some wall space. And you'll see I'm not using a yoga mat because you're kind of just on and off the mat anyway. So some clear floor space and some wall space. Um, and it's going to take around about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so let's just begin by resting against the wall and just having your feet maybe about hip distance apart. They could be a little wider if you feel like that is a more um, supportive position for you. Um, and you're just resting your hair, just let your hands make contact with the wall. So just get used to what is going to support you during the practice today. You could then just rest your hands onto your legs so the arms are light, let your shoulders be spacious and softening your gaze or just looking kind of down towards the ground. So you're just kind of dimming out the sensory stimulation of the room around you. Just notice that your feet are on the ground, that you're connected to the earth. And just take your awareness down towards the ground and then invite a sense of space, a sense of space, a sense of length along your legs, into your pelvis, along the spine, across your shoulders to the crown of your head. So just to be aware of the ground supporting you and then invite a spacious quality into your body. And those areas of spaciousness could come in across the tops of the shoulders or along the neck, maybe into the abdomen or maybe just the palms, relaxing the jaw. There's just so many little things we can do in order to invite a sense of spaciousness or a feeling of spaciousness in our body. And they help us to relax into the here and now. So as you find that support coming in from the wall, just noticing that you are breathing in and then noticing that you are breathing out. And just following the soft ebb and flow of your breath. The inhalations invite that sense of spaciousness and the exhalations anchor you towards the wall, towards the ground. Follow your in-breath from the ground, from the earth up through to the crown of your head. Follow the out-breath the crown of your head down through your body to the earth to the ground beneath you and just anchor yourself there and as the breath cycle deepens just relaxing into your breathing rhythm keeping your focus with your inhalations with your exhalations and you may be familiar with ujjayi breathing in which case slipping into that soft sound of ujjayi could be useful for you in your practice today just to cultivate further focus and calm in the body through the breath. Otherwise, just a soft inhale, soft exhale, slightly longer than your normal breathing pattern would be. So we're starting to become more conscious that our breath is there, that it's supportive, that it's expansive. 
invite yourself to sigh and then just coming away from the wall we want to position ourselves so that we're facing the wall and you're going to be able to take your hands to the wall in front of you so your legs need to be a good distance away from the wall here so let's have our arms beside ourselves take a deep breath in and then as you exhale bring your hands to the heart or just over the center of your chest as you breathe in take your palms up towards the sky you can separate your arms and then on the exhale think about hinging from your hips as you fold and reach your hands towards the wall you could look and just check your hands are in a shoulder position and then you could step your feet back a little just to allow a little more space in your shape here so this is like we're coming into a downward facing dog the next time you breathe in step your right foot forward so look forwards and then step your right foot forward so the toes come towards the wall and press into that shape exhaling breathing in lifting lengthen the arms exhale step the foot back coming back into our down dog the next time you breathe in come about halfway with your feet between where they are now and the wall and then on the exhale let your elbows bend and you press your chest down towards the wall and then as you breathe in lift and roll onto the toes as you lift your chest away and then keeping your chin slightly drawn in exhale lower the heels down so the elbows are bent and then inhale press the arms away step the feet back exhale into down facing dog as you breathe in step your left foot forwards toes touch towards the wall keeping the chest lifted exhale pressing back and then looking forward stepping halfway pressing away from the wall sweep your arms up breathe into your shape and then exhale hands come back to the heart heart space so step your feet back again breathing in sweeping the arms up exhale hinging from your hips as you fold just find the hands on the wall and then just take a few moments to get settled into your wall down dog so lifting the sit bones pressing down through the feet inhale stepping your left foot forwards exhale stepping your left foot back inhale look forwards come halfway elbows are bent chest tight now and then roll and lift onto the toes and let your chest expand away so this is like a cobra position and then exhale lower the heels down inhale step back exhale back into our down dog inhale right toes forwards lunge forwards there exhale stepping back inhale halfway push the hands away from the wall inhale the arms up exhale hands to heart stepping back again breathing in take the arms upright breathing out forward fold to the wall keeping your tailbone lifted pressing into the hands inhale the right foot steps forward bending the elbows exhale press back inhale come closer so we're halfway hands come a little bit higher now than wind of the chest exhale towards the wall roll onto the toes and then lift and arch away from the ground from the wall imagine the wall is your ground actually and then you exhale and you'd come back to it the arms are active step back exhaling inhale looking forward the left foot exhale stepping back inhale halfway press your hands off the wall sweep the arms up exhale hands to heart step your feet back again breathing in and then breathing out inhale the left foot comes forwards exhale stepping back halfway slide your hands higher up the wall exhale the elbows bend so we're pressing into the wall now and then roll onto the toes lift inhale and pressing your chest away from the ground keeping your chin drawn in keep your neck in alignment and then exhale lower the heels down and then press back inhale the right foot steps forwards 
keeping the chest lifted, keep pressing into the hand, into the wall. So you feel that traction there through to the feet and then exhale and step back. Inhale halfway, take the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Step the feet back. Inhale the arms. Exhale, hinging from your hips, folding forwards. Inhale, step your right toes forwards. This time we could come into a warrior. So you can take your arms up towards the sky, away from the wall. Keep lifting in your shape. And then the next time you exhale, place your hands back on the wall again and press back into the down dog position. And then inhale, everything comes about halfway with the feet. Hands lift up a bit higher towards the chest. Exhale towards the wall. Roll onto the toes, lift and extend away. So back bend there into our cobra. Exhale, lower down. Stepping back into down dog. Inhale. The left foot comes through. Exhale, stepping back. Inhale, halfway, take the arms upright. Exhale, hands to heart. Step the feet back. Breathing in, the arms up. Breathing out, forward fold. Inhale, the left toes step forwards and then we can explore our warrior position again here. Staying for a breath. And then exhaling, the hands come to the wall and we press back. Keeping our tailbone lifted halfway. We look forwards, stepping the feet, slide the hands further up the wall, press in, so lean towards the wall and then lift onto the toes and press the chest away. And then exhale and lower down. Just taking the pelvis back, coming back into our down dog. Inhale. The right foot forwards, exhale, pressing back, coming halfway, breathing in, looking towards the hands if you'd like to, and then exhale, hands to heart. So we're gonna do this once more. We'll just move a little bit more quickly, breathing in, take the arms upright, breathing out, forward fold to the wall. Inhale, the right toe forwards, option to come into a warrior, a warrior position, and then exhale, pressing back. Coming halfway, inhale, exhale, press towards the wall, inhale onto the toes, lift the chest away, keeping the hands anchored on the wall. Exhale, lower the heels down, stepping back. Inhale, the left foot forwards, keeping the chest lifted. Exhale, stepping back. Inhale halfway, take the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Step back, breathing in, take the arms upright. Breathing out, forward fold to the wall. Inhale, the left foot comes forwards. Take the arms up, get grounded through the feet, strengthening in your shape on the exhalation. And then inhale, lift, exhale, hands come to the wall. Pressing back, inhale, halfway, hands come higher, exhale, inhale, lift the chest, roll onto the toes, exhale, come down, step back. Breath in, right foot, breath out, stepping back, come halfway, inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. So let's just pause there. Hands at the heart, you could come into a prayer position or just place one hand over the other. Just notice how you feel as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Just be aware of sensation. Be aware of pulse, energy. Let your arms relax by your sides. Take a breath in, slide the shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, slide a breath and relax your shoulders down. Just 
So you're welcome to settle back into where we began, just resting with the back of your body against the wall, the legs a little bit further away, your head is supported there, just following your in-breath, following your out-breath. Or you could also just come to rest onto the wall in this way, resting your head onto your hands and just with your feet further away from the wall. Again, just softening through the breath cycle. Come back to spacious quality of your breath. And just be aware of the energy that you are made of. That feeling of pulse or rhythm that you have built through your practice, through the Sun Salutation series, which is designed to invigorate, to build strength and stamina, but also to provide us with this balance of ease as we wind down and notice how we feel. Connect your inhalations to the light of the sun. Connect your exhalations to the nurture, calming quality of the earth. And just connecting that inner light, your source of light, your source of energy to the outer light and source of energy of the sun. And you can rest for longer if you'd like to. You could come and rest onto your back or you could even move on to take some further explorations of movement in your own way. So thank you very much for joining me for this short standing um, practice. I hope it was useful for you. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Jeevana Heyman, who is um, director of the, the co-founder of the Accessible Yoga Training School, and they share practices in this way so that we can offer something more accessible for people out there looking for, yeah, looking for those accessible practices so that they could try something that helps them to honour their bodies. Um, if you would like to explore further practices like this with me, I have an abundance of practices on YouTube and the previous one to this was a chair practice exploring the sun salutation series, so you might like to go and try that. Um, but otherwise, if you haven't done so already, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, um, please subscribe and I really appreciate you being here. Okay, thanks for now and I'm looking forward to checking in with you soon. All right, bye bye.